Hey stoners, happy new year and welcome to Buzz Flicks. Today we're going to recap 2011. We're going to talk about a few films we enjoyed and a few films we didn't. I'm Big Bud Brad. And I'm C Dang. As per usual, we got super high for all of these films. It was a good year. It's a damn good year for getting high and watching movies. I'm going to kick it off with one of my favorites for the year, Zack Snyder's Sucker Punch. Yes, Sucker Punch, which I would call actually a, um, a version of the book The Secret for 20-somethings. What's up, brah? This movie was action-packed, it was gorgeous, the music was kicking, it looked like you were inside some gnarly samurai video game, and can I say, Scott Glenn, you're still a bad motherfucker. Scott Glenn? You spook easily, Starling. A beautiful looking movie, beautiful women in it. Get stoned and look at this movie. What movie? Sucker Punch. That's right, you take it! You take it! For my first pick, I'm going with my favorite movie of the year, The Muppets. Hysterically funny, great music. Short enough to stay stoned the whole way through and some very fun cameos. I thought The Muppets was terrible. Terrible? Yes, terrible. How can you say that? You're a Muppet! Yeah, don't use the M word with me, son. I am a felt American. Moving on to Terrence Malick's Poetry on Celluloid, Tree of Life. A cinematic masterpiece that lands more in the realm of poetry than actual cinema. I don't get the dinosaurs. Yeah, okay, the reason this movie kicks ass is because it's like an onion. It's like a really hot onion in like long striped leggings. It's like you roll down the leggings, it's like, ooh, look at those legs, you know? Like, then she's got this short skirt and you heave that up and it's like, oh, it's sexy. What are those boy shorts you got? And you pull those down and it's like Brazilian. Damn, that's one sexy onion. Like everything is more exciting the more layers you peel down. This movie you can watch 25 times. The only reason why it doesn't make my top choice for best film of the year is because it was so beyond film and movie. It was like watching a beautiful piece of art. But seriously, what's up with those dinosaurs? What a super D duper surprise. So my other favorite film of the year, I would have to go with a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. This movie had everything a stoner wants in a movie. There was weed. It was in 3D. There was weed. It was short enough to stay stoned through the whole time. There was weed. There was a great claymation scene. There was weed. Did I mention there was nudity? And did I mention there was weed in it? It's gonna be amazing! My least favorite movie of the year was The Smurfs. You just think that because you didn't see Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked. <laughs> Shut up! This, this ain't, ain't your, your show! show. The reason I hate this movie so much is because the first 10 minutes of this movie is so awesome. That's all we ever wanted to see from a Smurf CGI film is Smurf Village in CGI, but no! You get 10 minutes of it, then they take two Smurfs, five, I don't know, beam them into New York because they did it on the cheap, and then they run around with Neil Patrick Harris, only not even cool party Neil Patrick Harris, Neil Patrick Harris trying to be like a straight good husband in New York City, which is impossible. He's a gay. Do not be fooled by their cuteness! For my least favorite movie of the year, I'm gonna have to go with Moneyball. It was so boring. I just, it was about baseball financing, folks. What stoner wants to sit in a movie theater and watch a movie about baseball financing? Not this one, and I don't know one that will. I just, I mean, not even that fat stoner from Superbad could save this movie. It was just awfully boring. I must have fallen asleep eight times during that movie. I must have fallen asleep eight times during your review of that movie. 